The gentlewoman from California is recognized for two minutes. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the uh, Chairman of uh, the Energy and Commerce Committee. I rise in support of H.R. 1425, the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Enhancement Act. Today, we deliver on our promise to the American people to undo the Trump administration's total sabotage of the Affordable Care Act and make health care affordable for every American. Since the ACA was signed into law, 23 million Americans have been insured. Every person with a pre-existing condition was protected and children could stay on their parents' health insurance policy until they turned 26. Now, in the middle of a pandemic and a recession, the Trump administration and congressional Republicans are supporting a lawsuit before the Supreme Court, imagine this, to strike down the entirety of the ACA. I think that there's one word for this, cruel. H.R. 1425 does the opposite. It strengthens the ACA and makes health care affordable by lowering premiums and reducing drug prices. The bill ensures that no American will pay more than 8.5% of their income for insurance premiums, benefiting approximately 20 million Americans. The bill allows Medicare to directly negotiate the price of the costliest drugs, and the lower prices will be available to every American, including those who receive their health insurance through their employer. H.R. 1425 extends coverage to nearly 5 million Americans by pushing the holdout states to finally expand Medicaid. This would be such a blessing to people in those states whose governors denied them health insurance coverage. It also mandates 12 months of Medicaid coverage for eligible postpartum mothers and ensures, uh, I request a, uh, an additional minute. Yield the gentleman an extra minute. The gentlewoman has gentleman. an additional minute. Thank you. Uh, it mandates 12 months of Medicaid coverage for eligible postpartum mothers and ensures that once a person is enrolled in Medicaid, regardless of their income changes, they will be covered for a full year. The bill ends the Trump administration's expansion of junk insurance plans, which exclude coverage of routine care. Imagine that. What kind of policy doesn't coverage routine care? and has left patients on the hook for thousands of dollars in medical bills. And it reinstates critical funding for outreach, marketing, and enrollment so more Americans can easily sign up uh, uh, for insurance. I'm very proud that many of this, uh, parts of this bill originated in the uh, Health Subcommittee, which I chair, where my first hearings as chair examined how to strengthen the ACA. This is good for the American people, especially during this crisis of a pandemic and a recession, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlewoman's time has expired. The gentleman from Oregon. 